Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So today, we're in the Roush. Um, everybody asked me, do you still have the Roush? Is the Roush gone? Is gone yet? Uh, we never see it on the channel anymore. What's up with the Roush? <laughs> well, let me tell you a little bit about that. I bought this car as a channel car and I fully intended on doing a lot of mods to this car. But then I realized it was kind of a rare car. It's a rare color scheme, blue on blue. You never see, I can't even find a picture on the internet of a blue on blue one. And it has very low miles at like 24,500 miles. And for an 07, that's pretty low miles. So it didn't do real well on the channel to start with and it still doesn't. So I thought, why would I spend the money to mod it, make the value of the car go down? And not a lot of people's watching it anyway. Everybody likes Tundra videos, and I get that. I was a Tundra channel to start with, and I've tried to venture out into some other vehicles, and it doesn't go as well, but um, I do hope the Jeep picks up a little bit. I really like the Jeep. Back to this car. So we bought a Jeep. We bought a newer Jeep, 2014 JK. Love that Jeep, rare dune color. Awesome Jeep, very fun. Really haven't driven anything much since I bought it. Not even the Tundra. I drove the Tundra to do a video just a minute ago. I actually forgot how awesome the Tundra rode and how smooth it was until I drove it because I hadn't drove it in like two or three weeks. But I said I was going to sell the Roush, pay off the Jeep, and then buy a 5 Mustang. And that was the original plan. But I just don't know if I can do it. I love this car. Now I wanna say I've owned 41 vehicles. I don't get attached to vehicles. I don't do that. It doesn't happen to me because I've owned a lot of them. They come and go, don't think anything about it. Don't get attached. See you later, Rivaderci. On to the next one. This car is different. I don't know what it is about this car. It is so smooth. Now the ride's a little rough because it is a sports car. You're bouncing a little bit right now. Sorry about that. But we can't hold our phones anymore in Tennessee, so I have to mount it to the windshield. But the sh it just shifts so smooth. Now, it's not a powerhouse. It has around 330 horsepower, give or take 10 horsepower. And uh, so it's decent, but it's not, you know, a 5.0. It, it's, it's not the new 5.0. Um, it's not the Coyote engine by no means. And even if you supercharge this 4.6 without doing a lot of internal work, you're really only going to get basically maybe just a little bit more than Coyote horsepower. It's not worth doing, but I love this car. Every time, all right, let me back up a minute. When I said I was actually going to sell this, and pay off the Jeep. I hadn't driven this car in probably a month or more. So before I decided to put it up on Craigslist for sale, when I was going to, I thought I'm gonna get out and drive it, you know, one more time before I put it up because it'll probably sell quick. I drove it down the road and I was like, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. It was dusty from sitting there. What did I do? I immediately took it straight home and washed it. I didn't put it up for sale, I washed the car. So that's exactly the opposite of putting it up for sale. Now I'm taking care of it and loving the thing, but I really don't know if I can sell it. So what actually may happen, and this camera looks like it's bouncing all over the place, but what actually may wind up happening is I just work really hard to get the Jeep paid off and I still fully intend on buying a Coyote 5.0. You can get so much horsepower out of those vehicles that I just want one. I miss having a lot of horsepower and uh, I, I just miss that. And, you know, I used to have a 300ZX that had, you know, 522 horsepower or something like that, which is still 200 horsepower away from what you can get a Coyote to by just supercharging it. I mean, it is crazy what you can get those motors up to, and they will hold upwards of like 900 horsepower reliably. I mean, so 730 with a Whipple supercharger shouldn't bother it at all, but I still can't get rid of this Roush to do that. I just can't do it. Now you can see 
how vibrating the camera is. I'm trying to hold it and, and talk so I'm not vibrating to death. The car is not a smooth rider. It is a smooth driver. It handles pretty good to be a Mustang. And it's just a fun car to drive even though I don't drive it. So there it is, guys. I just can't do it. I just cannot sell this car. I don't know why I have grown such an attraction to this Mustang. I don't know, but I have. This is really literally the first vehicle that I ever have had that I just don't think I can sell. I just don't think I can do it. So let me know in the comments section. You know, would you sell it? My wife is dead set against it. My friends are dead set against it. And when I drive it, I'm dead set against it. And I really, like I said, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the nostalgia of being a Roush. I don't know. It, it's just smooth to drive. I like the way it looks. And I think, I think I love it. I think this is the only car I've ever had that I love. That's neat. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm keeping it.